welcome back. I wanted to do a quick video here today just to uh, address the one thing that I wish somebody had told me before I bought my first radio. First radio I bought was actually a little handheld. It wasn't this one, it was a little eye radio. Came with a little short stubby antenna on it. Um, now they did tell me, oh you should replace it with a better antenna because the one that comes with it, it's not going to be that good. And so I did, and I settled on, this is the Nagoya NA771. Uh, I use this on my uh, dual band, my 2 meter and my 70 centimeter uh, dual band radios, uh, at least the handhelds I do. Um, I've got two more of these floating around somewhere, and it works pretty well for it. Now this is actually a tri-bander, and so I don't have the best antenna for the 220 on this. Uh, maybe sometime I'll switch that one out. But the thing that I wish they had told me that they didn't, let me tell you a little bit to get there. When I first got this one from Amazon, I got it programmed. There were places that I would uh, be, you know, at the office, I'd have it on and I'd pick up something. Okay, cool, great. I'd carry it out with me. I'd have it in my car. And there wasn't a lot of traffic on the airwaves. And it was a little concerning. It was kind of the new ham syndrome. Hey, nobody's on the local repeaters. And so I kept it scanning some of the frequencies for a while. And then I remembered um, that I had a magnet mount for the roof of the car that I'd got some years ago. And I had a mobile unit somewhere. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to get it out. I'm going to hook that up. Maybe it's just a better radio than this one. And I started picking up things, started receiving quite a bit actually. Um, had it programmed about the same as this one, same repeaters and all. Um, and then as the days go on, I'm thinking about it and it's like, okay, so I've got this one inside an almost Faraday cage of the car with its antenna here in the car. And I've got the other one with the antenna on the roof of the car. Maybe it's not that the radio's better, maybe it's just better antenna placement. I know, everybody says, oh, antenna placement makes a big difference and it does but it's much bigger than you realize um, there is a repeater as I've talked about up at Mount Mitchell and uh, it's been a lifeline to Western North Carolina in East Tennessee it can be received I saw a signal report today somebody said they were just north of Jacksonville, Jacksonville Florida and they were able to get into the repeater that repeater on Mount Mitchell, depending on who you believe, is running either 5 watts or 10 watts power. It's not a big 100 watt repeater, 1500 watt repeater. It's not putting out a lot of power, but it can still be heard in probably 5 or 6 states. Uh, why? Because the antenna is 6,600 feet above sea level on the highest thing on the eastern seaboard. Um, and there are no obstructions between it and somebody with a good antenna in a good place in Jacksonville. I didn't get the answer from him yet as to what he was running on his setup, but he probably has a decent antenna 30 feet in the air. And so placement and antenna are crucial in your first radio setup. Um, after this last storm, one of the things that I did, instead of the quarter wave magnet mount that we've got on the car, I went ahead and I got a 5 8 wave uh, to put there. And I noticed a significant improvement in the reception of some of those fringe repeaters that we could kind of sort of get if you were in the right place before. Now you can really get them well in places, and then there are a few other places where, well, it's not quite as good. And that all comes down to position and placement. If I drive down into a valley, I don't get as good reception as if I'm up on top of the ridge or on the mountainside. And that's the same for almost all of the um, VHF, UHF bands because they're all line of sight. Um, so the importance of your antenna and the placement of that antenna are the things that I wish had been emphasized even more before I bought my first radio. Would have helped a lot, but then you do learn by doing, you do learn by experimenting, by plugging things in, testing it, getting frustrated and trying something different. So, um, you know, that's the way we learn and we improve. 
In any case, thanks for stopping by. I hope you'll um, like and subscribe. Uh, be sure to come back and see uh, what else we've got coming up. Thanks.